Well, Mexican food is one of the world's most popular cuisines, and without a doubt, Mississippians, they love going out to the Mexican mm -hmm. restaurants. As of August 15, 2024, there are 610 Mexican restaurants in the state of Mississippi. Well, Tom News, Melanie Christopher sits down with the general manager of many restaurants in the metro as we honor Hispanic Heritage Month. Over 16 years ago, Roberto Silvera traveled to this country from his home in Costa Rica to visit a friend. It was a chance encounter at a soccer game where he met a Mississippi businessman who needed a manager for one of his Mexican restaurants in Vicksburg. I didn't know anything about Mexican food, anything about restaurants. And he's like, it's okay, you can do it. Silvera had no restaurant knowledge, but his job in Costa Rica did give him experience with customers. I was working in a call center, customer service for AT&T, and they were mad all the time. And it was a lot of stress, but um, I learned to work with people who are not very happy at the moment. And um, I think that helps a lot for a restaurant business. He now manages eight restaurants around the metro, including this El Sombrero in Gluckstadt. But what sets his restaurants apart from the competition? I think we have a balance between price and, and the, the, the food that we serve. It's more personal attention and they make customers feel like home when they go to a restaurant. They're so glad to see them again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And some customers have made it a regular spot for catching up with friends. We come, I would say, at least once a week, sometimes twice, and uh, we love to come after tennis and get a margarita and laugh and talk, and that's sort of our thing. The service is great. We love the big TV being right here, so it's just perfect for us. And it's been pretty perfect for Roberto Silvera, too. Life has been good. He has three little girls and a house in Brandon. It's far different from what he left in Costa Rica, but he gives praise to both the country that raised him and the one that embraced him. I'm from a, a really poor part of Costa Rica, the, the ghetto pretty much. So, but I wouldn't change it because I learned so many things that help me now. I respect this country a lot. I miss my country, but now I love this country. Melanie Christopher, 12 News. And we will have a special honoring Hispanic Heritage Friday, October 11th, only on 12 News.